Good afternoon students. Today we will see geometrical constructions in engineering drawing. My name is Aurigya Salvo Kumar, working in School of Mechanical and Building Sciences in VAT University, Chennai. So this lecture describes important 2D geometrical constructions used in engineering drawing. The first problem is how to divide a line into number of equal parts. So here we are going to divide the line AB into 4 equal parts. So draw a line AB of given length 27 mm. Draw a new line AC with convenient angle 30 degree or 45 degree or any other angle convenient to you to AB. So from A divide the line AC into 4 equal divisions of any convenient length. Example here uh, 10 mm. So now join the point 4 to B. Draw lines parallel to B to 4 through 1 to 3 to cut the line AB. So the 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash shows that the AB line is divided into 4 equal parts. The next problem is how to draw arcs to tangential lines. The problem statement is draw an arc of radius 30 mm to touch two given lines at 90 degree to each other. So first to draw two lines AB and AC at right angles. So now A is center and given radius 30 mm. Draw arcs to cut AC and AB. And the name point N and AC and M and AB line. So now M and N are centers and radius 30 mm draw arcs to intersect each other at O. So the intersection point is O now. So now take the same radius of 30 mm and O is center and the same radius draw the tangent arc M and to touch AB and AC lines. So this is the way you have to draw an arc for tangential lines. The same problem can be explained in uh, another way. That is draw a line AB of convenient length and AC. So uh, it should be in right angles. Then take the radius of 30 mm and cut an arc in AC and AB line and the mark the points N and M. So instead of drawing uh, arcs with the center of N and M, so draw a parallel line from N and M. That is draw a parallel line to AB from N and draw a parallel line from M for AC. So the intersection lines of the parallel lines drawn from M and N is the point O. Now O is center and O and R O M S radius draw an arc so this is the another way instead of drawing a, um, o n and m as center you can draw a parallel lines from from n and m to the uh, corresponding lines and the intersection points will give the center of the arc and you can draw an arc through n and m so next the problem is to draw an arc of radius 30 m same radius to touch two given lines at 50 d to each other there is the line is not uh, the lines are not uh, right angles they are inclined to 50 degree so draw the given angle uh, that is 50 degree with the two lines and mark as CAB so instead of drawing an arc from A so draw a parallel line to AB and name it as PQ the distance between AB and uh, PQ that parallel distance should be 30 mm similarly draw a line parallel to AC and name it as R and S. The distance between AC and RS, the parallel distance would be 30 mm. So now the intersection of PQ and RS is the point O. So now O centers OP or OR as radius. Draw an tangent arc PR to touch AB and AC lines. Uh, next problem is how to draw tangents to circles. So the given problem statement is so draw a tangent to a circle of 40 mm diameter from a point P 60 mm away from its center. So first uh, 
Drawing circle and mark a point O. So the given diameter is 40 mm. From O, draw a horizontal line that is 60 mm and mark the point P. So this OP distance is nothing but the point where you, you have to draw a tangent to the circle. So after marking this OP, so draw a semicircle which is fit to the OP points. Now this semicircle is intersected with the given circle of 40 mm diameter. That point you mark it as Q. Now join PQ that is the required tangent of the given circle. Next one is how to find the center of an arc. So, so the given arc is AB and then in this AB arc you draw two cards PQ and RS of any length. So now bisect this PQ and RS these bisecting lines will intersect each other that point is O. Now O is the required center of the given arc AB. The next problem is how to draw an arc passing through three given points. So mark three points A, B, C and join A, B and B, C. So now bisect A, B and B, C. The bisecting lines intersection will give you the center of an arc. So now O center, draw an arc, the arc will touch A, B, C. So this is the way you have to draw an arc passing through three given points. The next problem is how to draw a perpendicular line to, give, to a given line. The first case is uh, consider a line PQ and a point N is near the middle of the line. So the PQ is drawn. So the point is middle of the almost the middle of the line PQ. So now take any radius and cut an arc between P to N where N is the center. Similarly, N is the center, you cut an arc in NQ line. So you noted that, that radius is R1. And these cutting points you can mark it as R and S. So after this, you take another radius which is greater than R1 and draw an arc from S and R. The intersection point will give you the point T. Now you join T to N. So this is the required perpendicular to PQ. So the, remember that the radius of R1 should be less than R2. So the next case is case 2, draw a line PQ, suppose N is the N is suppose near the end of the line. So previous case is somewhere, somewhat the middle of the line. So now the point is near the end of the line. So draw PQ and mark the point N somewhat near the end of the line. Then from O, okay mark only a O anywhere, from O draw an arc that is uh, it should be somewhat greater than the semicircle but the arc should pass through the point n so the same arc will touch the line pq in some other point and mark the point as r so again i will repeat so pq the n is near the end of the line mark o anywhere and O is in center, N is radius, draw an arc that should be greater than the semicircle. That arc should touch the line PQ somewhere else. That is, that point is known as R. So now, R is the starting point. Draw a line to O and then extend it. It will meet the other end of the arc that point you note it as S. Now join S and N. That is your 
square current perpendicular line to PQ. So these points again I will explain for better understanding. N is the near the end. O R center. O N as radius. Draw an arc that should be greater than the semicircle. That arc will meet at PQ in another point that is R. Now draw a line from R to O and then extend it. It will meet the other end of the not only other end the other side of the arc. So that point is known as S and draw a straight line. That is your required perpendicular line to the PQ. The next problem is how to determine the circumference of a given circle. So our center draw a circle. So now draw a line which is passing through O and mark it as P and Q. After this, draw a tangent PR at P such a way that the PR should be three times of your PQ. So the next point is uh, draw a line OS that is such a way that that line is makes an angle of 30 degree with OQ. After that, uh, draw a line uh, perpendicular to OQ from S. That point is known as T. So now you join T to R that is your required circumference approximately that is TR is the required circumference approximately so these are the few cases of geometrical construction of engineering drawing one thank you